Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. You're training the mind as you do this. And it's easy to watch your breath just for a little bit and then run off to something else. But if you want to make a difference in your mind, you want to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out, and then again, all the way in, all the way out, again and again. Make it steady like this. That goes against the mind's tendency, which is to jump around. And when you jump around like that, you can't see things clearly. You can't see connections between cause and effect. And if you don't see these things in your own awareness, how are you going to understand them? How are you going to understand your awareness? You have to stay steadily with something to really understand it. We're trying to make a change in the mind here. As the Buddha pointed out, the reason we suffer in this world is because of our own lack of skill in running our minds. So here's an opportunity to get some skill. If the mind wanders off, just drop whatever the topic was and you'll be back at the breath. Sometimes all you have to do is remind yourself that you're not where you want it to be and you go back. Other times you have to argue with the mind because it has some ideas. It wants to do something else and this is a good time as any, it thinks, to think about X, Y, or Z. But you have to tell it, no, this is a skill I haven't developed yet. I want to develop, develop it now. If I don't do it now, when am I going to do it? We keep putting things off in terms of the skills of the mind. We're missing out on some very necessary skills, the things we learn in school, the things we learn in, at the job, basically help us to be good consumers and good producers in society. But what about our needs to figure out how to deal with aging, illness, death, when they come? Because they're going to come to all of us. And if we're not prepared, we can create an awful lot of suffering for ourselves. So here's an opportunity to learn some necessary skills. When the Buddha set forth the Four Noble Truths, he wasn't just giving us information about suffering, but he was also pointing out that this is the most important issue in life. The fact that you're creating suffering for yourself, and you don't have to. I mean, there's so much pain going on in the world as it is. Why pile more suffering onto yourself? So pay some attention because this is a necessary skill. And now is as good a time as any to work on it. Keep telling yourself that, not only when you're here with your eyes closed in the, in the monastery, but when you go outside. When you look at the flowers, you look at the mountains. Remind yourself the problem in life is not the flowers or the mountains. It's the mind's own lack of skill. So try to stay grounded as you look at things. And you'll be in touch with the source, source both of the suffering, but also of the possibility of putting an end to that suffering. Because we can develop qualities in our mind that will train ourselves so we don't have to suffer, no matter what. So everything important is in here. So pay careful attention in here. <laughs>